Good morning, Bird Brains. Today we're going to be talking about Mrs. Bird's all new bike. Let's get into it. <laughs> So tell us, Mrs. Barton, what do what uh, what what do we have here? I got a bike. Well, what kind of bike is it? Um, this is a one one ten blue and white. What, what, what company is blue? <coughs> the Navy. <laughs> starts with a starts with a Y. Oh, it's a Yamaha. Yamaha. It's a Yamaha. It's a 2008 Yamaha TTR 110E, which means that uh, she is nice and spoiled with the electric start here. So I know everyone's probably saying already, like, that bike's way too small for her. Well, go ahead and hop on it first off, just so we can see how actually not too small it is. <laughs> I mean, like, it's... I mean, it's a little small. But I'm actually super comfortable. Yeah. The reason we got this was not so she'd go out and hit the trails with us, but rather it's just a fun little pit bike that she can ride around during the races and get to point to point while we're at the races. And the reason we chose this specific model is because A, it has the electric start, so she's not gonna have to kick it over. B, it's a four stroke, it's impossible to break these things. C, it doesn't have a clutch, so she can carry something like a gas can or uh, I don't know, a helmet or something like that. Whatever she needs to be taking across the pits and things like that without having to worry about a clutch. Four speed, so I mean it's got plenty of plenty of speed. I rode it in the field by, by, by our house uh, earlier today and it went so fast it blew my hat off. So I mean this thing has quite a bit of power and uh, it was cheap. We got this thing for around a thousand bucks. We didn't want to spend a bunch of money on something that is not going to get, well, it's funny that we thought was not going to get used a lot. So I told you that you would want to ride the trails and you said something along the lines of oh it doesn't look interesting it doesn't look fun i said the track looks more fun but you said you were not interested in I trails i wasn't interested in the trails but she's taken this thing around the block a couple times got to ride it in the 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 empty lot out by our house which is all dirt and rocks and everything and uh what what, what did you say i said it was and that maybe you should have gotten a bigger one or I, there's no record of anything like that, so. after she took that little ride off road she's like wow that was a lot more fun than i thought it was gonna be so i was like see i told you but this will be fun for her to start off anyways she honestly could ride this on a lot of trails that we go on it might not be ideal but she could at least do it i could do it you could do it this bike is in, I mean, it runs, it's in decent condition. It's not mint by any means. It needs a little TLC, but that's what we do here. So the next episode you'll see on this bike is probably gonna be us taking this apart. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is clean the carburetor, which I've never done before, so that should be fun. But these bikes are just super easy to work on, super fun to work on. Also, the maintenance on these is, I mean, nothing. I looked it up. This thing doesn't even have an oil filter, only takes like 0.8, quartz or something like that and you only have to do an oil change every 90 hours to put that into perspective my crf 250r calls for maintenance every i think six hours or so six hours or around there so about every three or four times i take that out it needs a new oil filter needs an oil change all that kind of stuff this bike we're gonna maintenance it one time as far as like the engine and everything like that and it's gonna be done like she'll never hit 90 hours on this thing that is re that's like a million miles in like a regular car. What do you uh, what do you have in your mind as far as design for this thing? Cause I know you can't leave it just plain and blue. I can do what I want. <laughs> I actually like the blue, but I do want to change it up. Yeah. I want to get some you know new plastics on it. This one's had a fall here. Yeah, for that. sure. Not that I won't give it a fall. But <laughs> Keep keeping it real, I like that. Yeah, I really like um, how you kind of went with a 90s theme on yours. Yeah. I'd like to maybe keep in with a 90s theme. I don't know if I'll do the exact same thing. Yeah. But I like the colors, I like the bold shapes and stuff like that. What do you think about turning it into like a, 
make it look like it's from the early 90s but keep it Yamaha themed. So like kind of how like the Yamahas looked in the 90s. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so going back to the whole maintenance thing, I'll, I'll get you a few close-ups of the bike here. So obviously this chain has got to, to go. First off, it's way too loose. I mean, it's completely rusted. I mean, there's almost, you, my finger should be a lot dirtier than that by doing that on the chain. I mean, there's almost no lube on it. It's rusted, it's loose. Uh, like I said, the carburetor definitely needs cleaned up. It's running uh, pretty low on power. I mean, it's only 110 cc, so it's not huge, but I mean, the choke, when you run the choke, the choke gets stuck out like that. So we'll have to clean that up as well. But uh, I don't know, we might, I mean, as you can see, there's, there's rust spots and things like that. So this might be a good project to kind of tear apart, sand everything down, repaint it. I mean, we could really have a lot of fun with this bike, but the main things that we're gonna be replacing is going to be chain and probably the sprockets. Uh, I mean, the sprockets look okay. You could probably get away with using those, but definitely need a new chain. We're gonna put an hour meter on it just so we know uh, how long it's actually been ridden. Oh yeah, and then we, gotta, we haven't taken this thing apart either, so the air cleaner and air box might need uh, some touching up, but just uh, pretty much gonna go through the bike in these next couple of videos and just see what needs to be replaced, what needs to be fixed. And then the other thing we're gonna do is add on a trickle charge quick connect. It might already have one. Like I said, we won't know that until we tear the bike apart. But what's great about these little bikes as well is everything's really cheap on them. So I think I priced out the chain, the plug, the quick connect plug, as well as the hour meter. And I think we're only at like $32. So we'll probably uh, look at new plastics, probably a new seat or a new seat cover, depending on what direction we go with and uh, I don't think we're gonna do big bars I know with these little bikes a lot of people do the big what's called big boy bars but honestly I can ride this thing here hold the hold the camera I mean I'm 6'2 about 250 ish and although yes it does look hilariously tiny I mean I'm not hitting my legs or anything I can turn full lock and this thing's got enough power to lug even my fat ass around. So, I mean, just a perfect bike for what we're gonna be using it for. We might tilt the handlebars up a little bit. We've got enough room to, to bring them forward. And that'll give us about an inch or so of rise, what I'm seeing, but. The brakes are drum brakes on both front and rear, but they seem to be working quite well. So guys, let us know what do you, what do you wanna see us do with this bike? It might spark a few ideas, but this is gonna be an overall fun bike for my wife here to kind of ride around the pits, maybe spark the fire on getting her on something bigger and coming out on the trails with us. So we'll see. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Wheelie! Oh. Wheelie! Wheelie!